The next one is carbon cycle. When you hear the word carbon cycle, the important keyword over here is carbon. First, you have to understand this carbon is one of the basic elements of all living organisms. The reason I say that is because every living organism goes through the process of respiration. Respiration is basically the action of breathing. So we take oxygen, right? And then we release carbon dioxide. But it is not that simple. Our body cells use oxygen to get energy from the food we eat. And the byproduct of breaking food by oxygen is carbon dioxide. That's how energy is released. You will find a similar process in a mechanical device. In order to make a mechanical device work, there has to be a production of heat and light. And if you see a car engine and a rocket engine, both work by combustion. Combustion is a chemical process in which substances like petrol, diesel, reacts with oxygen to produce heat. Again, even here carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide is a byproduct. So anyway, whether it is respiration or combustion, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. Once the carbon dioxide is out there in the atmosphere, the next step is the entry of the carbon dioxide in the photosynthetic process. When we say the word photosynthetic, immediately think of plants, trees and algae. Because trees and plants consume carbon dioxide and release oxygen. So basically, the trees and plants use energy to reproduce. It is done by taking in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. Look at this amazing part of nature. On one hand, the human being and mechanical devices have a certain way of functioning. And then on the opposite side, there are trees, plants, algae, even they have their own way of doing things, which is completely opposite to us. You see, there is a fine balancing act going on. Of course, the problem comes when one of the side increases or decreases in population. Anyhow, the carbon dioxide enters into the photosynthetic process. Now in the next step, you have to realize that even plants and trees grow. Therefore, even they generate and release carbon dioxide. Now some of the carbon dioxides are released through its leaves and roots during the day. Then most of the carbon dioxide is contained within the plant tissue. Now if you can recollect the ecological pyramid, in that we have read that plants, trees and algae are called producers. And herbivorous animals feed on these producers for food and energy. When an animal consumes plants, the carbon compounds from the plant enters into the animal. And then in the final step, when plants and animals die, bacteria and fungi feed on the decays of dead plants and animals. This process is called decomposition. And again the byproduct is carbon, which returns to the atmosphere. This entire cycle is called as carbon cycle.